Hey, you're out and about early. I want to get a few more names on Tracy's birthday card before Ken and Deirdre visit her. If we all sign it, it'll mean a lot to her. Hey, don't look at me. Why? Uh, duh. She killed Jason's best mate. It was self-defence. Everybody knows that. You'll sign it, won't you? Uh, well, it, 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 it's a bit tricky. What, to write Best Wishes Norris or N. Cole, if you'd prefer? Well, we see, I mean, being co-owner of a, a community business, I, I, I think it's invidious to take sides. There's no point in asking you to sign the petition, then. Oh, now, that is an exercise in futility, if ever there was one. Though, I, look, I do applaud your loyalty to your friend. It might not change things, but if this boosts Tracy's morale, it certainly won't have been futile. Yes. I'm sure Rita will sign it. Oh, I'm sure she will, love. Yes, I mean, she's far fewer scruples about that sort of thing. Uh, you know, you, you better come in. Did we tell Tracy about the funeral? I mean, she must realise he's going to be... What's the matter? It's Tracy's 30th birthday, Kent. We should be organising a big party, teasing her about how she's over the hill and too old to go out clubbing with the young ones, not visiting her in prison. The party's only on hold. Do you really believe that? Well, this new solicitor does seem pretty confident. Mind you, for the amount of money she's asking, she ought to be. Yeah, well, just make sure you don't go banging on to Tracy about how much it's going to cost. Oh, hi. hiya, Ken. Sorry to call so early. I didn't know what time you'd be setting Not off. Not at all. Go through. Hi, Deirdre. Hi. Card for Tracy. Oh, Claire, that is so thoughtful. I've tried to get as many people as possible to sign it. Oh, Tracy will be so pleased. Tell her we're all thinking about it, won't you? Of course we will. On the petition. The solicitor will know how to put it to best use. Oh, definitely. She seems really good. Oh, great. Like right. Wellington said about the British Army. I don't know about the enemy, but she scares the hell out of me. <laughs> Even better. Your birthday. Oh, have you brought me a cake? Come on in, Palmer. Didn't want you getting depressed spending your birthday alone. We've got a new cellmate for you. Hiya. Andrea Palmer. Hmm. Tracy Barlow. This came for you. Uh, somebody's opened this. You're in prison. Didn't want you having a Class A fuel party after lights out. Pete, your bloke, then. It's my brother. Oh, yeah. Topped the boyfriend, didn't you? I'm innocent. I was defending myself. Like everybody else in here. Amazing how often the police and courts get it wrong. You innocent as well, Palmer. Get lost, eh? You know, I'm sure they search visitors as much to humiliate them as hoping to find anything. Yeah, well, they get off on their little power trips. Tracy. Tracy, antagonising them won't help. It, it was good of Claire to get everyone to sign the card, wasn't it? And the petition. Yeah, well, either she didn't try very hard or not many people wanted to sign it. Don't be like that, Tracy. Everybody's being really supportive. Have you heard from Jane Simon yet? Yeah, she's coming later. She thinks you've got a really good case. Well, I have. <laughs> what? Um, Jason is organising the funeral. Jason? Oh, you couldn't organise a round of drinks. I'm sorry? Well, he's going to make a complete mess of it. Why should you worry? Tracy, that man abused you, and when you stood up... If you hadn't defended yourself, it could be us organising your funeral right now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, the sooner it's over and done with, the better, eh? One less thing for you to worry about. Oh. Hello, hello. I bet she didn't sign that petition. Well, you're in good company then, aren't you? I mean, there can't be many who are going to mourn Charlie Stubbs. Hardly went out of his way to make himself popular, did he? I think one or two women might disagree with that. Mm. Three or four, in fact. No, it, no, it makes me wonder 
How many empty pews there'll be when uh, I say farewell to this world? Well, there'll be me and Emily. <laughs> Look, if I wasn't far too gallant to point out how much older you two are than me. <laughs> oh, Rita was just saying she, she hardly imagines there'll be many wanting to pay their last respects to Mr Stubbs. Well, why shouldn't there be? I mean, he didn't do out to either of you two, did he? No, of course not, love. We're, we're, we're just uh, maintaining a neutral stance. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't anything like people think. You didn't know him like I did. Well, quite a few did, though, apparently. Whatever he's done, Norris, he didn't deserve to die in such a horrible way. No. <sighs> now, what's up with him? Hey, hey, she, she hasn't paid for that magazine. David! Yeah, away! <sighs> you aim it, don't you? What? But Charlie wouldn't be dead now if it weren't for me. It was not to do with you. Uh, hello. I wind him up, he tries to drown me. So you tell Tracy about you and him, and he ends up dead. I never told Tracy about you. And I'd have told her about me and him anyway. <sighs> Keep wishing I'd have handled things differently. What's the about him and yourself, you mean? I don't know. But him trying to drown me, Maria, I mean, you must have known what kind of psychopath he was. Oh, thanks. You know, I thought I meant a lot more to you than that. You do. I... <sighs> so you're going to a funeral, then? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think I should come. What? Well, our Sarah calls it closure or something. Help us get on with his lives. You know, I can be there for you. It's just whether... You can be there for me. All right, yeah, I'd like that. Anyway, I better go and pay for this before Norris calls the police. Come on. He wrote us the same next week. statement a few times, but it'd really help if you go over it again for me. I know it's painful, but... But it's just... Well, Mum told me about Charlie's funeral. And? And I was wondering whether I might be able to go. Oh. Well, you're only on remand. I didn't want him to die. And I still love him. Even after... Look, I know it sounds daft, but... It doesn't. Not at all. Tracy, what you're feeling is not unusual. I've known women suffer terrible abuse literally dozens of times before they call the police. And even then, they take the man back, risking and often getting more of the same. Yeah, but they're... Well, I'm not like that. I mean, you ask anybody. If you want to go, I'll do what I can to make it happen. <sighs> and you don't think it will count against me? I mean, in court, having the nerve to show my face at the funeral of the man that I... Well, I killed. Don't worry about how it might look, Tracy. You're the real victim here. You shouldn't feel guilty about anything. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I just... I miss my daughter, Amy. That's the worst thing about being in here, not being able to cuddle her. I'm going to get you bail. But it's already been refused. The police are well on with their inquiries now. They'll be less concerned about you getting people to change their stories. Yeah, but I never had any intention of doing that. Well, why would you? The witness statements here all support everything you've said. You're very lucky, Tracy. It's so rare to get as much evidence as this. <sighs> so you think the jury will understand what I was living through? Absolutely. But while all this helps, in the end, what really matters is what happened on that one night. Well, I have told anybody that will listen. He came at me with a knife and I was just trying to defend myself. I'm going to be honest with you, Tracy. I've been in court when the guilty have gone free. And I've seen too many innocent people convicted. With a jury, there are no guarantees. If they don't believe you, for whatever reason, you could be facing a life sentence. No, but I am innocent. So they're sure to believe me. Well, thanks for letting us know. Yep. 
I'll discuss it with Deirdre and get back to you. Bye. Oh, I am so ready for this after leaving Tracy in that place. Do you know, even after I've had a shower, I can still smell it on myself. Who was that on the phone? Jane Simon. I think I'll join you. What's happened now? Tracy wants to go to the funeral. But they won't let her, surely? Apparently they will, under guard. And isn't the solicitor advising against it? Well, she points out. Tracy's got nothing to be ashamed of. Well, no, no, I know she hasn't, but... Well, the only people there will be his friends, if he's got any. And us. Oh, this is madness. We can't go and dignify some ceremony to mourn that man. I'm afraid we've got no choice. We have to go for Tracy's sake. How'd it go with the solicitor? Great. But I'm innocent, so it would do. You think it's that simple? I do, actually, yeah. You put Mother Teresa up in front of a jury. I won't bet on her getting off. Never mind you bashing your bloke's brains in. Think you're just gonna walk? Sorry. But you'll be having plenty more birthdays in here, girl. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but that is not gonna happen. Girl. <laughs> 